All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we're gonna to talk about how to make your wheels. Ideally, you want the CD, which makes for a great wheel, um, to be on the dowel rod and not wobble at all, nice and straight. This one is pretty good. And you'll notice the way that it's connected here is with a piece of cardboard. And that is because the hole on the inside of the CD is about 15 millimeters in diameter and the dowel rod's about six. So if we take an axle or dowel rod you can see there's no good way to connect this here to keep it centered. So what you're going to do is take a piece of cardboard and cut it into a square. And then that square can be taped onto the wheel. So we want to do a good job of taping it so it doesn't move around. So I'd say about half of that piece of tape is on the cardboard and half of it is on the CD. We're going to do that to all four sides. And it doesn't matter which side you put the cardboard on, whether you put the cardboard on the shiny side of the CD or the side that's got an image or color, that's up to you. Now, that's pretty easy. Um, the next part, and this is the most important part, is to put a hole in the very center of this cardboard. So that requires a good um, sense of centering with your eye and a very sharp pencil. So I just sharpened the pencil. I'm gonna line it up so it's right in the middle and put a dot. I'm gonna look at that dot and that definitely looks centered to me. Now I'm gonna put it against the table and I'm carefully just gonna poke a hole through the first layer of that cardboard like that. You can see I put a tiny little hole in there. And then I'm carefully with my fingers not where the center point of that circle or that pencil is, I'm carefully going to make this hole a little bit larger. We do not want to use the entire diameter of the pencil or it'll be too big and the dowel rod will not stay. So you're going to go a little bit and then check it. We want this to be a tight fit so that it stays on and that, not quite there yet. So I need to go a little bit further. Twisting the pencil as you do this helps a little bit. And there we go. Now, the next thing we want to do is glue the uh, cardboard onto the dowel. So we're going to use our hot glue guns for that. And we're going to just apply a little bit of glue on the outside. So I'm just spinning it gently. Whoa, I guess I should do this on the camera. There we go. Spinning it gently and adding a little bit of glue. And now the most difficult part is getting this straight so that when it spins, there's no wobble. And that is looking pretty good. As I spin that, it's fairly true. If you're a bicycle rider, you know about truing your rims on your bicycle so that there's no wobble. And that's what we're trying to do. So you can see this is not what we want, right? So you want to get it straight and true. And then just give it a little spin to check it, adjust it. You have a couple of minutes, uh, or seconds, I should say, before that hot glue dries. So that is how you're going to make your wheels. And you can see here how this fits together onto the frame that we made. Like that. And there's got a, we've got a little bit of a wobble in there, but that's, that's pretty good. And you can see it spins quite nicely. Again, the glue's on the outside, not the inside. Okay, that's how you make your wheels. Good luck. All right, so after we have one wheel created and it spins quite well, the next step is to create the rest of your wheels. So using tape again on the CD and then a pencil to create the hole, you can slide on the other, in this case, rear wheel. And the spacing is up to you. Um, some people might choose to have the wheels a little closer together. Um, <clears throat> or you can choose to have them a little bit further apart. That is up to you. Um, I would recommend not gluing it until you're sure you know exactly how you want it to work. Obviously, we don't want it rubbing and hitting the body of the car. And then up front, <clears throat> same exact thing. Installing our front wheel here. And again, just to quickly review, after you've taped on the cardboard, find the center, carefully put a little mark in there, and then with your finger out of the way, a little twisting motion, not quite all the way through, otherwise the hole will be too large. 
There we go. And then the last step will be gluing those. And at the end of this activity today, you should have a rolling chassis, just like that.